welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for you guys. I actually have quite a few hauls coming your way. So if you guys are interested in hauls, then I suggest you click that subscribe button. It is completely free and go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post. I post every single week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. I got quite a few things from Walmart and Steinmart and just all over the place. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. So for today's haul, it's mainly craft items. I've been really into painting and crafts. And now that fall time is near, I am planning on creating a few DIYs for home decor. So like I said, click that subscribe button. So the first item is actually from Five and Below. This is the only item from Five and Below. And it is this little palette set. It's a five piece set. And I thought this would be very helpful for when mixing paints and glitters. In this set, you actually get three palettes and two spatulas. So that should be very helpful for my DIYs. The next several items are actually from Walmart. Um, the first item is pretty random now, but it won't be um, come October. So uh, I got this big roll of brown paper. Nothing special yet, but it will be. Um, next I have these command strips and scotch tape mounting tape. Um, I've never seen mounting tape before, so hopefully it works for what I have in mind. I also have these round dowel rods. I'm actually really excited for the DIY I have in mind for these. And I actually have a second set of dowel rods. These are actually all the same size and these have different sizes. So. I just wasn't sure exactly which sizes I wanted, so I just got them both. Next we have glitter clothes pins, and I just thought these were so pretty, first of all. And then second of all, another DIY in mind with these, so these were perfect. Next I got a paintbrush set, and there's actually 10 brushes in this, and it's by Folk Art. And these are all very fine brushes for detail work. These are not just for painting, I'm also planning on using them for eyeliner brushes. So maybe like one or two for eyeliner, but the rest I'm going to be using for DIYs and painting. It's very, very hard to find very fine detail brushes. It's like the finer the brush, the more damage they end up getting. So I don't know, hopefully these aren't as frail as my past brushes, but we'll find out. But as you can see, this does have like a nice variety of fine tip brushes. Next, we have good old construction paper. I got a big pack. Um, let's see, there's 264 sheets in this baby. And this was only like two bucks or something. So really, really nice. I also got double-sided tape. Forgot about this one. Next, I got glitter card stock. I got one that has both gold and silver. Um, I'm planning on making a sign with this one. I thought this would be easier to just cut out the letters instead of cutting them out out of cardstock and then painting them with glitter. And the, these were actually pretty well priced as well. Of course it's Walmart. And these are safe for the printer. They're, they're shed free is what it says. So that's pretty cool. I also got this 12 sheet pack of foam sheets. Um, I've actually never used foam sheets before. But hopefully they work out well for what I have in mind. And then I have this foam display board. It kind of opens up like this. Yes, this is going to be a major DIY because I'm not even sure if it's going to work out. But if it does, it's going to look amazing. So <sighs> fingers crossed on this one. But we shall see. Next, I have a bunch of glitters. And you might be able to guess seeing these colors, what I have in mind. October, these colors. If you have any guesses, go ahead and guess in the comment section down below. Anyways, I got glitter glue for the foam boards actually. And I have so many glitter glues, it's crazy. I didn't even realize that I had a full size of this. I'm always surrounded by glitter. I love glitter. Glitter is my favorite color. As you can see, I have glitter all the time, everywhere. I actually already used this one, but this is from Walmart, this is from Walmart, and 
I love this iridescent one, but I think this one is actually from Hobby Lobby, if you're interested. And then I also got these, this little acrylic bead set. It's orange, perfect for fall and Halloween. Um, it has a variety of different beads, as you can see. Uh, it was originally $1.98, but then it was on clearance for $1. And then when we scanned it in, it was only 50 cents. So that was nice. <laughs> Then the final item from Walmart is actually this ring. It's actually a single ring, but it looks like stacked rings, which I love. And this was like 90% clearance or something like that. It was crazy. It was like, it ended up being like no more than two bucks. So I'm glad I picked this up. I love imitation jewelry. I don't really go for real gold or silver or anything like that because I like to change up my style and if I lose it, then I don't feel as guilty. <laughs> All right, now on to Michael's. The first item is this pack of foam balls. This is like a variety pack with different sizes, so that was nice. I actually only needed one of these, but this was actually cheaper to get the pack instead of just getting one, so I thought, why not just get the pack? And I got plenty for some future DIYs. Next, I got this color shift paint. This is actually in Orange Flash, and it's by Folk Art. And this is what the color is supposed to look like once it's on. It's like an orange duochrome, so I'm really interested to see what this looks like when I actually paint with it. So that's pretty cool. Next, we have some Mod Podge. This particular Mod Podge claims to be water resistant, which is the only reason why I got it. So hopefully it will work for the project I have in mind. So um, like I said, stay tuned, watch my DIYs and you'll know. And finally from Michaels, I got an apple. This is a fake apple, but it is for one of my DIYs again. I want to transform my house for fall. And finally, we have two items from Steinmart. I think these are the items that I'm most excited for. The first item is an apothecary jar. I love this, mainly because I actually had one just like this. I had a set of three on my dining table and um, my husband actually accidentally knocked it over and totally killed this one. So I was really thrilled to find an exact one, like an exact replica of the one that I had originally, like two years later. So that's really exciting. And Steinmart is actually closing. Um, I guess they're closing stores all over. I'm not sure, but they were having a closeout sale. So this was only like six, seven bucks, which was really nice. And then the same thing goes for this next item. <laughs> These are supposed to be fairy lights in there. It kind of got squished down when I was sanitizing it, but um, it's like a glass case. And what does this remind you of? Does it not look like the Enchanted Rose from Beauty and the Beast? I got so excited when I saw this in store. I have been looking for, I, I don't even know how many years for this exact thing. And I finally found it at Steinmart. I have found similar ones from Amazon and um, different craft stores, but they were always so expensive. But this one was only like seven, eight bucks. And I mean, I had to have it. I had to. So I'm definitely going to make the Enchanted Rose, you know, DIY it myself. And I'm, I'm just so glad that I was able to find this. All right, guys. So that's it for my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are a craft lover or DIYer like me, then make sure you click that subscribe button. Other than that, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.